Gemini. My name is Kim and I'm going to be doing your reading for November 26th. Uh, we'll do a couple of oracle cards. We'll wedge in the tarot, the six card spread, and then end it with some tea leaves. So we can have our angel spirit guides, anybody that um, can help us get a positive message for the collective of Gemini, please. This will be general, won't resonate with everybody to take what does and leave the rest. Gemini. Whoa, whoa, Gemini. Lots of stuff wanting to come out. All right. We'll take that and then we'll get one of these. Wisdom from the Oracle. This is a wisdom from the Oracle deck. I'll probably have to read from the book from this one uh, for Gemini. Whoa. Gemini. Immediately, two just fall out. All right, so the energy card, Gemini, is Goddess of the Moon. A little bit like, this This card's a little bit like the High Priestess. So there's going to be inaction. Um, things may not be what they seem. Or this can be like um, psychic abilities, intuition, things like that coming coming in. Um, sitting with yourself. It's, it's not a big action card. All right, then I'll look in the book for these um, 37 and 35. And there's another slide that got almost the same thing. I'm trying to think who it was. I think it was, I think it was Leo, I believe. 37 is, let's look here. 37 is never ending story. Uh, self-criticism, a wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. There is a, fab a story woven in the imperfect fabric of life that tells of hurt and loss, rejection and humiliation, self-loathing and arrogance, and all other kinds of manner of suffering. It says, but you don't have to do this. The sky is not falling. The voice that you hear is just a small, scared, conditioned part of you that got stuck in a lie and wants to protect you and needs you to be seen as a victim. Distorted guidance is preventing you from being true to yourself. You are not your story. The narrator is simply the voice of your fearful part, small and vulnerable and easily soothed. So that's like the ego, um, the, the self-criticism, always trying to think you have to do better, but you're just fine who you are what you've been through makes who you are today. And that's to be celebrated. We have loyal heart, which means fidelity, loyalty, devotion. Evidence of loyalty will appear in your life, Gemini. Others will prove that they are faithful to you and then you will commit fully to them. Know that spirit is always loyal to you. So it's saying to have faith in divinely protected and divinely inspired, um, action or non-action depending on your depending on your story all right jim and i we're going to do a six card spread and it's going to have the main card is going to be your situation card then we'll do a challenge card then we'll do spirit advice the past position of for past way of handling things and then a future way of handling things and then at the top is the outcome. So let's do that one by one. The situation card first for Gemini. Situation card. I have the six of swords leaving some kind of turbulence behind you, whether it's an actual conflict or if you were going with another person and you are getting out of a situation because it's a little too sticky. Um, it can be internally, this can be a mental talk in your head of having to, um, I don't know, think of more optimistically, leave all the negativity behind you. It can be that too. Let's look at the challenge for this leaving card, Gemini. All right. 
that's why. So that's the Five of Pentacles and has to do your pentacles, you know, it's about your material stability. And we have a little break in it. That doesn't mean that it's gone for good. That just means that this is that ebb and flow and you're on this end right now, then you will be due to going straight up. You have to go up. If you're going from a down position, you have to go up. So this is that lack mentality. Um, it's, it's also something that we just find ourselves in from time to time. Can be about leaving somebody out in the cold. Maybe you don't want to leave somebody out in the cold and that's why you might not want to leave. Could be that too. Might not have to do with financial. Whoa, okay, that's too many. We can get a card for spirit advice for Gemini. I will take those two. We have the lovers. Be the authentic you, because that's your card. Choices. Lots of choices. Okay, the lovers card indicates a big decision. A big decision in life that you have divine help making. It's going to be a good decision, but Spirit wants you to know that you've got a lot of options, a lot of, um, a lot of ways around this problem right here. And they're just wanting you to know that you've got to hone in on one and focus and ask for spirit's help. Let's get your, ooh. All right. And then I can see how that would be, that I can see how that might be frustrating. So spirit's saying work on your partnerships, work on your big decisions, know that you have many. Then we have the nine of pentacles in the how would you handle things in the past. That's doing everything by yourself. That's being very independent. That's the Nine of Pentacles. Financial windfall. So luckily came into some money. Let's see what the future is. We have big, big change because we have a five again. Now, this card, I kind of look at a little bit differently than other people because I don't think that there's a conflict going on. In the card, and it's on the contrary, I think it's the opposite. I think one just ended. And... Um, you know, he's left to kind of carry the swords because obviously people aren't threatening with them anymore. So, yeah, there might be some argument around you, but I don't think it's anything that is involving you. Let's see what the probable outcome is for Gemini. Whoa! Whoa, Gemini. I'll take him. I'll take him. Working working really good, getting good on your craft. Victory, the victory card, the queen of pentacles. So taking care of yourself and others though, a wish come true, something leaving the same, and then having your 10 of cups. Wow. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay, Gemini, let's get you a tea leaf card or a few. Okay, we have broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem, ugh, and broken wishbone, wish will not be granted, but that's not what I'm seeing up here. It might be, Okay, whatever this wish, it, it might have to do with somebody um, leaving a situation. Might have to do with that. Stork, news of a birth or a business opportunity. Probably what that, um, what the Six of Wands is all about. Then hammock, taking a vacation either physically or mentally. And let me get, there's one more down here. That fell. Okay, target, a goal-oriented person, a goal-oriented person. So keep your eye on the prize, Gemini, you'll be fine. And we'll come back for the 27th for your next one. Thank you very much. I'm sending love and light your way.